I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about which universities are giving a GRE waiver for next fall. Well, I've been receiving a lot of queries. So that is the list I'm going to share with you all today. So today's video is in two parts. Basically, let's talk about what are the kind of GRE waivers that are being offered and what are the list of universities that fall into each category. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about if the GRE is optional for some university, should you submit your scores or not? It can be pretty confusing. So I'll be sharing a two minute simple thumb rule to decide whether to submit your GRE scores or not. But before that, let's first continue with today's topic. That is the list of universities which are offering GRE waiver for next fall. Up until before COVID, GRE used to be an important component of the MS admission process. There were exceptional universities like UIUC Engineering School, which did not use to give a lot of weightage to GRE, but most of the universities relied pretty much on GRE to determine your academic aptitude. And it was a good news for the candidate also, because let's say if your GPA was low, you could still like, you know, try and get a high score on GRE to kind of compensate for that. But of course, then the COVID came and test centers were shut down, which meant that universities could not use the scores anymore. They could not shut down the application or admission process because of this one requirement. So they decided to waive uh, off the GRE requirement totally in 2020. And probably I think that is when they realized that, hey, we can kind of like still conduct the admission process, even if the candidate has not taken the GRE. And this is a good news in some ways because not every candidate uh, is able to take GRE on time and many people just drop out the idea of MS application sometimes because they don't want to go through a test like GRE and GMAT. So waiving off GRE has definitely increased the number of applicants who are considering MS processes. So that is where we are now. But of course, the situation is tricky because every year some universities are giving the waiver. Some universities are going back to the old requirements. So my first advice to you is do not look at the list from last year. That is the universities which waived off GRE in last fall may not necessarily waive off GRE this year. Uh, for example, we have Georgia Tech who had waived GRE for all their courses last year, but now it is requiring them uh, for courses like Masters in Computer Science. So you should not rely on that list. You should check uh, for the latest application cycle. And also once your target university list is final, you should go and check with the individual requirements for each school. Okay, so let's come back to the GRE waiver list. Now the problem is there is no black and white list which you can refer to to determine, hey, this university is offering the waiver and this is not. So it's very confusing to find out this um, list and we have tried to do a bit of the homework for you and looked at at least most popular and common courses that Indians or international students apply to and try to figure out what they are going to do about the GRE. So there are three kind of uh, approaches that a university can take regarding the GRE score. Number one is they are saying GRE is mandatory. That is, they are saying that we need the GRE scores. And it means that if you do not have a GRE score, then you cannot apply to this university. And for example, UC Irvine and Sunny Buffalo are taking this approach. So if you want to apply to these universities, you need to have a GRE score. The second approach is GRE not considered, which means that these universities are saying that we are not going to look at your GRE score even if you submit it. It means that there is no point in forwarding your scores to these schools because they are not even going to look at it. And this year I'm seeing that MIT and Harvard, for example, have taken this particular approach. Now we come to the third um, requirement and that is GRE optional. These universities are saying that uh, it's not required that you have a GRE, but if you have the score, you can submit it. So it's optional. Now the confusion further lies because the university may say that we are waiving off GRE for every department. It's optional. Or some universities are saying that we are leaving it to individual departments to decide 
whether to look at GRE scores or not. And this is why this is the list that is the most confusing one that like, you know, which are these universities which are waving off GRE because then you have to decide whether to submit your scores or not. And of course, if you have enough kind of universities that you like or want to apply to, which are waiving GRE, that means that you don't even have to write GRE, for example, right? So this is the list, which is the most important list. So now we are going to look at some of the specific universities and what they are doing. Now, please note that we have done the homework mostly for engineering courses. If you're applying to any other course, you should still check with your department website whether they are waiving off GRE or not. Now let's first look at the courses or universities where they have waived GRE for all the departments and courses. So it's a, it's a blanket waiver. Um, and we have three universities here that are pretty popular. Uh, first is Columbia University, then Northeastern University, and then University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. They are saying that GRE is optional for all courses and departments. So if you have a score, you can submit it, or if you don't have, you don't have to worry about it. Now let's look at some of the special cases. Some universities are making it really complicated. And we have here, for example, like CMU is keeping it optional, but it says that we highly recommend it, okay? So they want you to submit the score if you have it, but it's not required. Then we have UC San Diego, which requires GRE for MS applicants, but is waiving it off for PhD applicants. And thirdly, we have UT Dallas. Okay, this one is interesting. They are not taking any stance, but they are saying that we require GRE. But if you have a very exceptional academic profile that is high GPA or things like that, then you can request a waiver. So it's not a waiver for every applicant, but you can request it if you have a good academic profile. So this is a very interesting stance. And this also shows that like, you know, how universities are really varying in their approach towards GRE. So these were some special cases. And of course, the majority that we are going to talk about today is the list of the universities which are waiving it for some department and courses, but not for all. And therefore, you will have to check it for particularly for your department and the course. But this list has some very popular and high ranked universities. So let's look at that. Of course, we saw Georgia Tech, right, which is uh, waiving for courses like MS in electrical engineer engineering, but still requires it for masters in computer science. Then we have UIUC, UC Berkeley, UC LA, Purdue, USC, UC Santa Barbara, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, TAMU, CU Boulder, University of North Carolina at Charlotte, UNCC, and NYU Tandon. These are giving waivers for some courses, for most courses actually, so do check out. You can probably go and apply to these universities without requiring a GRE. We are compiling the full list and uh, providing you in the blog format as well. We will add the link in the description box below. So the crux is, yes, there are enough and some interesting schools, some good schools, good choices there that you can apply to even if you do not have a GRE score. Of course, the confusion next is going to come that if I have a GRE score, should I submit it or not? And that is what I'm going to cover in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay subscribed here and keep an eye out for our next video. So that was it about from me for the GRE waiver list. Um, we will keep updating it on the blog if we find more schools. Um, if you have queries, please post on the comment box below and I will see you next week.